Mr. Rafael Mariano Grossi, Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, is visiting Japan from March 12 to 14 and traveled to Fukushima Prefecture. The FECJ has invited Mr. Grossi uh, to speak about the results of his visit to Japan and the IAEA's recent activities. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here again. Um, I will be very brief, so there's maximum time for questions. Um, I am uh, uh, com almost completing, I just have a few meetings left, uh, my fourth visit to Japan since I became Director General of the IEA uh, with a very important agenda, including um, uh, my uh, trip to uh, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, where I was able to um, assess the um, ongoing process of the controlled discharge of uh, treated water uh, from the plant. Um, we have also had opportunities to discuss just now with Prime Minister Kishida Fumio, and uh, I will be meeting with um, the Foreign Minister. With, I met with the Minister of Meti uh, and other uh, important uh, um, players, the Minister of the Environment, um, so uh, a very comprehensive uh, visit, uh, to be sure. So I'm delighted uh, to take any questions that you may have. A few days ago, I was in Sochi in the Russian Federation as part of my um, efforts uh, uh, around the situation on the Saporizia nuclear power plant. Um, um, as you know, I had already visited uh, Kiev and the plant, Saporizia, and met with President Zelensky, so um, I could have an important um, conversation with uh, President uh, Putin, where I expressed my views on the situation uh, at the plant and could evaluate um, further steps. The um, conversation also uh, delved into other important aspects in the international agenda, most notably uh, the situation around the uh, nuclear program of the Islamic Republic of Iran, where Russia, uh, uh, as part of the former partners in the so-called JCPOA, the agreement among the P5 plus Germany uh, and uh, Iran, um, uh, had Russia as one of its important uh, uh, partners. Um, in view of the situation uh, in Iran, I felt it appropriate to express my points of view to the president of Russia and seek uh, the support, which is indispensable for the IEA, for our efforts to prevent uh, a further deterioration of the situation there. Regarding a possible further visit, will it depend on the evolution of the agenda on all of these topics. I don't exclude it. There are no immediate plans for that, but it may be possible. Uh, I should clarify something. Uh, this uh, leak that uh, is mentioned by the journalist has nothing to do with the process of the control discharge of the water from the plant. This was um, an incident that took place at, at an, another uh, place, a different part of the facility. It concerned uh, a small amount of uh, water, initially estimated in five cubic meters, then revised to 1.5, so one cubic meter of water, which was splashed um, from uh, one uh, side of the, uh, of, uh, of the facility. Um, we were in touch immediately with the plant management and there has been no uh, consequence uh, on that. It was a minor incident that, again, should not be confused with the process of uh, controlled discharge of uh, treated water uh, from the plant. So there was no consequence, consequence, and we consider it a minor incident as one that could happen at any big industrial site. Well, when, when I uh, visit uh, China, it will certainly not be to convince anybody of anything. I will be visiting uh, China, I hope, um, uh, in the next uh, few uh, weeks or months. Uh, and there is a vast, very important agenda. China is a very important 
partner uh, of the IEA, one of the major producers of nuclear energy, um, and uh, again, a permanent member of the Security Council, so again, a country with uh, which we have an extensive uh, dialogue on non-proliferation matters of global concern. Uh, regarding the uh, process of um, uh, discharge of uh, treated water, uh, we do have a, a dialogue. They have expressed some concerns. We have been addressing them. We are in contact at technical level with uh, Chinese uh, experts, and I'm sure that um, when I'm there, we will continue this conversation. In any case, the objective information is uh, about uh, the, the process at uh, Fukushima is in the public domain. We are um, publishing it uh, regularly, so uh, the Chinese authorities have it at their disposal for their own uh, evaluation. Every time I visit uh, Fukushima, I make a point of uh, not only going to the nuclear power plant, but also interacting directly, independently with local communities. This means mayors, governors, vice governors, um, commercial associations, uh, and even this time students and young people from, uh, from the area. I must say that compared with last year, uh, before the, the campaign of uh, discharges of treated water began, uh, I saw a big uh, change uh, for for the better. Last year, there was there were concerns, there was uncertainty, uncertainty, um, uh, because there was um, there were doubts about whether the the process could have consequences um, negative for the environment. Uh, what I gathered uh, this year were expressions of uh, I would say uh, satisfaction on the fact that as we have been able to corroborate through our independent uh, sampling and analysis of um, uh, samples from the water, the sediment and fish, four batches uh, of more than 30,000 uh, uh, tons of um, uh, treated water have been discharged without uh, any uh, traceable uh, presence of uh, or very, very low, extremely low presence of tritium, thereby um, uh, no um, harmful uh, effects on, on, on the environment. So um, I should say, though, that they are counting on the IAEA to stay there, to continue its permanent and independent work as a means to provide uh, these credible uh, assurances that everything is um, going as it should. Uh, normally, and as a rule, I avoid commenting on other people's comments, otherwise uh, we get into a, a spiral exercise of uh, speculation. But I would say one thing. Um, the five permanent members of the Security Council, which in international law are the only recognized countries with uh, nuclear uh, weapons, have said that uh, nuclear war um, can never be won and must never be fought. Uh, so um, I think this is something that should be reminded uh, at, at all times. That being said, these countries have their own doctrines involving the possible uh, use of these weapons that they, that they have. And uh, this is the guidance that they have, and this is public information. I certainly uh, hope, and I don't think we see uh, we see at the moment conditions for the use of nuclear uh, weapons if we are referring to the war in uh, Ukraine at the moment, at least. You, you're right. Uh, the timelines the timelines are are long, precisely because of a safety concern in the sense that uh, the discharge has to be done in a reduced, very gradual way so as to, to uh, remain within uh, a discrete limit of uh, becquerels, which is the measure, the unit of measure for certain radioisotopes that can be put into the environment without causing any harm. So. Um, this explains the length of, of the process. 
as to the future. You are saying that there might be accidents, there might be other things. Well, I don't have a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. I think that applies to crossing the street or uh, flying on an airplane. I don't understand the, the meaning of the question. What is important is that everything which is done now is done correctly and is done within parameters and in a measured way, which is uh, confirmed independently by the, by the IEA. In so far as we continue in this way, we do not foresee any problems in the future. If there is any problem, the IEA will, defer, will be the first to say that there is a problem uh, and raise the attention, this issue to the attention of the Japanese authorities and the international community. This is our function. Well, uh, what the IEA has always uh, recommended to the government of Japan, and I think the government is doing exactly that, is to engage with um, with external stakeholders, as we call them, maybe countries or associations or groups. This is exactly what also the IEA does. We have an ongoing dialogue, you should know, with, uh, with China. We have an ongoing dialogue and consultations with the Republic of Korea. We have an ongoing dialogue and consultations with the Pacific Island states. So whoever has raised uh, concerns or doubts about this process. We have taken them very seriously and we have explained and we continue to explain from a technical point of view, what is going on uh, there. You mentioned that the situation is the same as in the beginning. I don't agree with that. I see a growing understanding of the process. I think that the fact that um, four batches have been discharged without any uh, problem co co start to indicate that um, the, as we said in the beginning, the internationally recognized uh, safety standards are being applied. Uh, and of course, um, uh, we are going to continue uh, sampling every time there is a discharge. We are going to check before the um, the the batch is or the water is discharged during the the uh, process and of course after that happens so there's going to be a continued uh, con a continuous checking of the situation but as i said it is a dialogue it is a conversation that that continues uh, but certainly we are not at the same point as we were um, eight months ago or six months ago uh, firstly, the conversation with the Prime Minister was a very uh, fruitful one. We discussed, uh, first of all, the activities at Fukushima, uh, the ongoing uh, process of uh, control discharge of the treated water. So that was one thing. Uh, we also discussed um, the situation uh, regarding uh, uh, nuclear energy, precisely part of what you just uh, uh, mentioned in Japan and in the world. We discussed uh, as well uh, other um, non-proliferation issues of a global uh, concern, uh, like the situation in Iran or at, in the DPRK. And importantly for me, at least, the uh, Prime Minister manifested um, a, a support um, uh, in, in the level of uh, 18 uh, million euros for a number of important initiatives that the IEA has in other areas like uh, cancer medicine, protection of the environment, um, uh, uh, human health, uh, uh, food, nutrition, I mean, number number of things that are not related to, to, this, to this part. So very important for me to have this, uh, this exchange. Um, uh, one other important issue that, that you mentioned is the recommissioning of uh, uh, nuclear uh, power plants, which is uh, very important for Japan and in the world in general. As you may know, there is a very clear regain of interest and priority for nuclear energy as an indispensable part of a 
um, decarbonized um, uh, net zero uh, energy mix um, in the future. In this context, there is a concern here in Japan about the possibility to count as soon as possible again with Kashiwazakariwa, which is a huge nuclear power plant, which is a big asset that the country has in this regard, and where certain security and safety evaluations still need to be done. And like in the case of uh, Fukushima, the prime minister asked for our support so that we can evaluate independently again uh, uh, some aspects uh, related to the uh, restart uh, of the facility. Uh, you you say, uh, how do we feel about having this, these issues in front of us? Well, I don't take that badly. On the contrary, this is the reason why the IEA exists, among other things. The IEA is there to give assistance, technical cooperation, and also, very importantly, because Japan is a country that has enormous technological uh, skills and capacities, uh, but they still need, in a civilized global community, to give assurances to the rest of the world that everything that is happening here is um, in accordance with international norms and conventions. And the only way to do that is through the IEA. So this is why continuously we have questions, missions, tasks, and, and, uh, and of course, yes, the IEA, not only, I would say, in Japan, is at the center of many of the global issues of the day. You see Ukraine, uh, DPRK, Iran, the Fukushima treated water, nuclear energy, so many, many things. We, we take this with a very a deep sense of uh, responsibility. Thank you.